Today we will be looking at the setup of the Microtech MAP 2N. This very portable, tiny sized unit is a wireless 2.4 GHz micro access point with full router OS capabilities. It accepts power from a wide variety of sources like USB, passive PoE and a power jack. It also works as a PoE injector and the second Ethernet port provides up to 500 mA of power to another device. You can, for example, connect an IP camera to it. By default the MAP 2N will be used in a small office, home office setup and has a default Soho configuration factory programmed on the unit. Let's have a look at Microtech's standard Soho setup. You will typically have a wireless or ADSL connection to an internet service provider ending up in a router, redistributing the internet via DHCP-enabled copper interface to your local network. This DHCP server connection will automatically supply the needed IP address, gateway and DNS settings to your Microtech router so that you don't need to worry about the technicalities regarding this configuration. All the needed firewall, NAT and other settings will be in a place on the Microtech with its default configuration, once again no need to know any of the technical detail. On the Microtech the wireless and the Ethernet 2 interfaces will be bridged together and act as a DHCP server. This allow all the office equipment to connect to the Microtech automatically via the copper or wireless interface. To perform the needed setup on your new device you will need the following, the Microtech router, the supplied power supply for the Microtech, Cat5 Ethernet cable to get from the device to your PC, a second Cat5 Ethernet cable to get from the device to the service provider connection point, a device interfacing to the internet, typical in a DSL router. A Windows PC with an Internet browser program like Google Chrome, Firefox or Internet Explorer installed, to communicate with the Microtech one has to be in the same network segment. The PC and the Microtech need to be in the same subnet. Microtech's default IP address is 192.168.88.1, and obviously cannot be changed before one can connect to the device. As one can change the PC's settings, this is where we will have to start. Go to your PC's network settings. Change the local area connection settings by changing the Internet Protocol version 4 settings to an IP address of 192.168.88.10 with a subnet of 255.255.255.0. You typically don't need such a big subnet for security and other reasons, and you can change the IP address to any range you need, but more on subnets and IP addressing in the advanced training. As the default settings will be in use on the Microtech, it is important to use the correct Ethernet ports at this stage of the setup. Connect Ethernet 2 of the Microtech to your PC's Ethernet port. You specifically need to connect to Ethernet port 2 on the Microtech, as the default firewall settings only allow certain data type connections on Ethernet 1. Open one of your Network Explorer programs like Google Chrome or Firefox and connect to 192.168.88.1. The default address of the Microtech. This will open the web fee interface of your Microtech, allowing you to change any settings on the Microtech. In a world full of nasty people always on the lookout to be destructive, it is of utmost importance to make their life as difficult as possible to gain access into your network. As a minimum, one need to add a password for the default administrator. This will not add any security to your network but it will prohibit any unauthorized person to connect to your Microtech's programming interface. Go to the System's main tab and select the User's sub-tab. Currently there will only be one, the administrator with full privileges, a username is admin and no password. Go down on the right-hand side of the last window and select Password. Create a password and make sure you secure it somewhere safe. The only way to recover a lost password on a Microtech is with a hardware reset losing any previous configuration data. The unit will not disconnect after the change, but any new attempt to connect will need a newly created password. With the administrator secured, we can start to change the standard configuration to a configuration of our choice. On the left hand side of the GUI click on the wireless main tab to open the wireless interface page. On the top of the page select the Interface sub-tab to display all the wireless interfaces detail. On the map to end with only one radio there will be only one option, LAN 1. Double click on the existing LAN interface to display the detail applicable to this LAN. 
As mentioned before, the router is factory set in Soho mode. We will only change settings for our convenience, by default the unit is already working. Move down to the SSID field and change the name of the SSID to a name you would like to use. The SSID is the name other wireless users will see to connect to your network. Apply and OK on the tabs above, in the left hand corner, to save the changes. Go back and click on the wireless tab, if not already on this page, and then select the security profile sub tab on the top right hand side. The default profile should not have any security, so let us add a new profile by clicking on the add new button. Change the name to your name of choice and enter a WP and WPA2 pre-shared key, leaving all the other settings on default. As most client devices will not tell you by default what authentication it used, it is easier to keep the same key for both authentications. Go back to the wireless main tab, and double click on the available wireless interface. Select the advanced mode tab next to the apply button on top. Move down until you reach the TX power mode and change it to all rates fixed. Select the applicable power for your application. Remember your AP can only reply up to the same distance that your cell phone or laptop can connect, so no need to overpower at the access point. 5 to 7 dB will normally already do the job well, and keep your system within the ICOS illegal limits. In the same window, scroll back up to the security profile and select the new profile you created by clicking on the down arrow and selecting the newly created profile. Apply and OK to save the changes. At this stage you changed all the applicable default settings to settings of your own convenience, added security on your network and security to assessing your settings menu. Your system is now up and running and ready to accept connections. To connect your PC to the new office network, find and click on the wireless network icon. This will open the window showing all available Wi-Fi networks in the vicinity of your PC. Choose the SSID you created on the Microtik and connect. You will be prompted for the authentication key, enter the key as you created it in the security profile. Everything will be done automatically and your PC should be connected to the internet. Thank you for watching this video.